Hey everyone, glad you can make it. We're doing our prenatal session today. So I have some equipment with me. Um, I have my stability ball, I have two blankets, and I actually have four blocks, but we would only really need one or two. Um, if you don't have that, that at home, no worries. You can sit on whatever blankets you have or a pillow to prop yourself up, even from this position. And um, when we get into the other things, um, if you have a body pillow from your bed, that always works for Shavasana. So, so today we're going to work through some open hip movements and then we're going to also kind of relax and get into some affirmations, which can be really helpful, especially with all the things that are going around and we can just kind of bring everything back to you and baby. All right, let's get started. So find a seat on your stability ball or whatever you're using. Rock back and forth a little bit. Check in with it. Pull in through the belly. Hug baby. And then get really, really tall. Good. Roll your shoulders up to your ears and then send them back and down. Do that again. Inhale, roll them up. Exhale, send them down. Feel the distance between your ears and your shoulders as you hang heavy through your elbows. Take that nice big inhale through the nose. Exhale, relax, release. Do that again. Nice big inhale. Fill baby's home with air and exhale. Everything comes back to neutral. Do that again. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, release. Good. Hands on your thighs, feeling nice and stable on the ball, but your core is working and things are kind of getting in line. We have our nice wide open hips here and we're really tall. Now close your eyes, take a nice big inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose. Little diaphragmatic breath practice. Remember the farther along we are in our pregnancy, the harder this can get. So one of the things we can do is we can do an inhale count of seven and exhale count of seven. But if that is feeling too tight and tense, we just drop the number down and we find what works for us today. So know that that is always available for you. So always find what is working, check in with it. Nice big inhale through the nose. Exhale, maybe we add that count. Maybe we just go with the flow. Find that comfort, find that ease. A few more breath right here. One more. Good, inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead. Turn your pinky fingers behind you, wide V. Good, hold here. Bring your right hand to the ball, left hand reaches up and over, big side stretch, reach for where the ceiling meets the wall. Keep that top shoulder nice and open. Inhale, float it up. Exhale, opposite side, big reach. Keep that top shoulder open, extend, extend. Inhale, find that lift. Exhale, palms down onto the ball, open up your chest, rock your heart forward. Open up, shake your head, no tension there. Good, slowly put bends back into the elbows. Inhale, lift them up. Palms face towards me, drop down, cactus arms. Good, reach out, press out. Press through the heels of the hands. Good. Make fists, but thumbs stay out. Roll that behind you. Open up the chest again. Good. Here we go. Right under left. Wrap, wrap, wrap. Drop your chin to your chest. And then roll ear to shoulder. Ear to shoulder. Back and forth. Checking in with it. Seeing how that feels today. Feel the stretch on each side of the neck. Just rolling in this little pocket that you've made for yourself. And then unwind, sweep your arms back up and overhead. Palms face me, draw down, cactus arms. Reach out, press out through the heels of the hands. Make those fists, thumbs turn behind, open up the chest. Here we go, left, under, right, wrap, wrap, wrap. Give yourself that hug, drop chin to chest, feel the stretch on the back of the neck and then roll ear to shoulder, ear to shoulder. Back and forth, back and forth. And then here we go, inhale, sweep it up. 
fingertips touch, bring hands to heart center, draw either elbow to either wall, open up through the chest, nice and tall, taking that little moment to bow in, to be happy to be here together and enjoy this practice. And relax, release. All right, pop off of your stability ball. You can roll it away. And then if you have one, grab a blanket and then just open it up a length and pat up your knees. If you're on carpet, it can be already cushy and maybe you don't need it, but it's always nice to have that little extra cushion. Press into your fingertips, press the earth away, find that quadruped position, and then drop your chest through your biceps. Gaze goes high. Exhale, here's your round. Gaze goes towards baby. Inhale, press it through. Exhale, round it. Keep going with that flow, using your breath as your guide to move, finding that mobility in the spine. And remember, this is always a great place to be during our pregnancy because it takes the weight of baby off of our back, lets gravity do some of the work for us, and we can start to feel how we are doing with that spine mobility. Baby to the sky, heart lifts up high, exhale, round, 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 gazes at baby. Couple more right here. So even with this movement and the other movements that we get into, we want to see if we can find that inner glow that we have during pregnancy, find that extra little bit of softness, that little bit of patience that we have with ourselves as things are changing in our body. And then let's go through neutral spine. We're gonna do a little barrel roll. So pretend like there is a rod from the crown of your head through your tailbone that you have to move around. So we're dropping in between our shoulders, but note how my elbows are not moving. So this is just the scapula moving up and then pressing in between. So we're just making that little barrel roll. Good. Here we go. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Let's switch directions. Up, over, and around. Up, over, and around. Little subtle movement. Lots of power between your shoulders. This is what we're actually doing instead of doing like a push-up during this time. Really good work. Finding that mobility. Working deep into the shoulder. Here we go. We've got five. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Now we're just going to lift and lower. Lift and lower. Again, my elbows are not moving. Everything is from that shoulder girdle. I can feel it warming up. Everything is working. It feels like a push-up. Yes, here we go. For five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Let's open up our knees wide. Big toes touch. Press it back. Let's take a little child's pose and press the shoulders. Good. Forehead can come down onto a mat. If it doesn't want to get there, we can stack our hands or use a block, but relax the shoulders wherever we are, pressing that tailbone back behind us and finding length through the spine. Good. Hang out here. We've got two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. And again, inhale, exhale, think about baby, hug baby in, walk over to the right, reach out long with that left hand, pull the left hip crease back, long body. Remember, baby stays on the inside of the leg here, but maybe the knee and the nose are in line. One more breath right here. And then let's walk it back through center, all the way over to that other side, reach out long. Deep with that breath, inhale, exhale, and then walk it back through center. Good. Roll it on up. Let's think about the back half of the body now. So right leg's going to go out long. I'm going to press into the ball of my foot, rock back and forth, opening up the calf and the hamstring, even getting my pinky toe involved, just saying, hello, leg, how you doing? Remember, this is also what we want to do if we're feeling any bit of swelling in the feet. Maybe we've been walking a whole bunch, and sometimes that can have um, the blood pooling around our feet. This is a good way to get that blood flowing through our toes and back into our body. All right, here we go. Lift it up, hip height. Hips are nice and even. 
hug baby in. Roll in, roll out, toes away, toes down, but I'm moving from the femur. We've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, toes down, lift up, lift higher, send it over, use your nose as your guide, peek around your shoulder, check out your toes. Good, inhale, lift up, press through your heel. Good, now I'm gonna tap out, tap back. Tap out, tap back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Knee comes down. Swing back and forth through the hips. Press into it. Little pendulum shake. Back and forth. Nice and loose. Press into it. And then here we go. Line everything back up. Left leg's kicking back. Press into the ball of the foot. Wake it up. Open up the hamstring. Open up the calf. Work into it. Keep breathing. Here we go, lift it up, hip height, press through the heel, hips are nice and even, hug baby in, roll the toes out, roll them down. Turn from the hip, good. Femur is moving, isolating that, working that pelvic floor help. We've got seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, nice job, and then here we go. <clears throat> We're going to send it up, over, and around. Take a peek at the toes. Breathe. <sighs> Lift it up. And now we're going to do our tap out, tap back. Tap out, tap, tap back. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Knee comes down, swing back and forth, press through the hips, breathe into it. Line everything back up, walk your hands to your knees, inhale, lift up, arms come up and overhead, good, hold here nice and tall and strong, put more weight into that right knee, kick that left leg out, I'm going to turn so you can see me, but feel free to stay where you are. So we're going to be just like this, left leg is long, I'm pressing into the pinky edge side, right knee and hip are in line, hands are still up and overhead, nice and tall, laying line over the long leg, lean over the long leg, and then inhale, lift up, right hand's coming down, left hand's reaching up and over, long line of energy from the heel out through the fingertips, inhale, float it up. Exhale, send it over. <sighs> Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, reach it up and over. Press through the fingertips. Rock your hips a tiny bit forward. Squeeze your butt. Inhale, use your core. Lift up. Here we go. Send it over. Big, long stretch. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, now the hand's coming a little bit behind you. Rock the hips forward, let gravity take the top hand. Your body's gonna tell you where you need to go with this. No crunchiness in the low back, that's way too far. We're always edging on that not too much side of things. And then the left hand's gonna come down and you're gonna walk back to your mat. And then we're gonna go through our cat-cow right here, heart leads high. Exhale, round, inhale, press. Exhale, round, keep going. Notice how you get that little extra stretch through the glute. It feels pretty good. And now we're getting into that hip mobility. So nice and even, kick that left leg forward. Now I'm gonna start my circles. I'm coming heel to toe with that front foot. I'm pretending there's a dot underneath my pelvis that I have to draw a line around. Making that nice big circle, we've got five, four, three, two, and one. Switch directions for five, four, three, two, 
and one. Good. Kick that leg on back. From here, we're going to go through one round of cat-cow. And then we're going to walk our hands to our knees. Inhale, lift up high. Good. Hold here. Now we're ready for that opposite side. So more weight into the left knee. Right leg kicks out wide. I'm going to do my little adjustment so that you can see. Press into the right pinky toe edge side. Lift up through the belly nice and tall. Arms are still up and overhead. Left knee and hip are in line. Make sure it all feels good. And then reach up and over. Big side stretch. Inhale, lift. Exhale, left hand comes down. Right hand reaches up and over. Long line of energy. Heel through the fingertips. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, send it over, reach. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, hands coming down. Right hand's reaching up and over. Now I'm squeezing my butt and I'm rocking my hips a little tiny bit forward. This is our priming for our next series with this. Inhale, lift. Exhale, send it over. Inhale, tall. Left hand's coming behind you. Rock your hips forward, let gravity take that top hand. Good, hold here, no crunchiness in the low back. Like I said, we're always edging on the too little side. Not too much, not too little, just right. But in prenatal yoga, we edge on the little bit too little. Walk it on over, here we go. Cat cow right here, get that extra glute stretch. Feels pretty good, keeping the mobility in the spine, working through that little back bend. Couple more. back through neutral spine, kick the right foot forward, and then here we go. Find that circle, coming heel to toe with the front foot, drawing that line, using that dot under our pelvis as our guide, going around and around, working into it. And here we go, we've got five, four, three, two, and one, switch directions, we've got five, four, Three, two, one. I'm going to leave my right foot right where it is, and then I'm going to kick my left foot forward. I'm going to scoot back onto my mat, and then I'm going to sink down into that malasana squat. So remember, if this is not an accessible pose for you, we lift the booty higher. We bring our forearms onto our thighs, and it's more like that football snapper pose. Otherwise, we're down here. We're trying to get the whole foot onto the mat, lifting up, drawing in. Opening up, holding, nice big inhale, nice big exhale. Keep with it, see how it feels. Several breaths here. Let's do two more. Nice conscious inhale, fill up. Exhale, inhale, fill up. Last one. Here we go, nice big exhale out. Good, now we're gonna put some movement into it and work our way up, 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 and then we're gonna move around. So we're gonna make a little figure eight with the body, get some organic movement into the hips after that very structured pose. Good. All right, let's find the top of our mat. So from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a block. We're gonna put it between our legs. We're gonna squeeze the block. Now I'm tall, so I put the block the long ways. If you're shorter, put the block this way. But we want to pretend like if we were a Pez dispenser, the Pez would go behind us, not wrapping forward. So squeeze, squeeze, hold, hold. Good. And feet are hip width distance apart. Good. Roll your shoulders back and down, palms face forward. Now we're very energized on the bottom half of the body. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, push your hip creases back, sit it down. Shh. Inhale, lift up. Good. Set it down and lift it up. Here we go. We've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good, nice and even, swing the arms. No muscle engagement, just let them be nice and soft. We're squeezing the block. 
nice and soft. The arms are just swinging back and forth, back and forth. Good, right here. Take a little pause, inhale, sweep your hands up and overhead. Exhale, pretend like you're pressing those beach balls under the water. Inhale, pull them out. Exhale, press them down. Inhale, pull them up. Exhale, press them down. Inhale, pull them out. Exhale, press them down and behind you. Good. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, press them down and behind you. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale, press them down and behind you. Interlace your fingers, draw your knuckles to the ground, open up your chest, shake your head. Good. And relax, release. Okay, remove the block. We're gonna do the exact same thing. Pretend like it's there, still energize the bottom half of the body. Feet are hip width distance apart or maybe even further for later in our pregnancy. And then we pull our hip creases back and we sit it down, chair. Good, inhale up. Exhale down. Here we go. And we've got six, five, four, three, two, one, and hold. Good. Come on to your toes. Come on to your heels. Come on to your toes. Long body, long body. And heels. Come on to your toes. Come on to your heels. Come on to your toes. And then solid feet. Lift the right leg. You got this. Here we go. Set it down. Lift the left leg. Good. Set it down. Inhale, stand up. Nice work. Roll your shoulders, swing your arms. Back and forth, back and forth. Just let them be free. We've got to find all different ways to walk today. While we, that's kind of our only exercise outside of the house, so maybe we can all, this can be our greeting as we walk down the street. <laughs> maybe. All right, relax. Roll your shoulders back. Inhale, sweep them up. Exhale, press them down. <sighs> really visualize it. Inhale, lift those beach balls out of the water. Exhale, press them back under. Good. Inhale, sweep them up. Exhale, press them down. Inhale, nice and slow. Exhale, press them down. <sighs> inhale, big reach. Exhale, press them down and behind you. And again, inhale up. Exhale, press them down and behind you. Last one, inhale up, exhale, press them down and behind you, interlace your fingers, open up the chest, shake your head. Good, relax, release, roll your shoulders back and down. Good, so from here, we may need to move our blanket out of our way. And our right foot's gonna be forward and our left foot's gonna be back. And we're in our warrior one stance. So pull the right hip crease back, nice bend into this front knee. Sink down. Inhale, arms come high. Good. Find that nice warrior one pose. This back thigh is rolling in. This one's rolling out. Thighs are active. Good. Hold and breathe. We've got five, four, three, two, one. Hands float to your waist. Hold here, roll your shoulders back and down, nice and tall. Let the thighs be active. Maybe we sink down just a little bit deeper. Hang out with it. Check that front leg, ankle and knee are you in line, not too far over. And four, three, two, one. I'm gonna keep my hand on my right hip and I'm gonna pull that leg back and straighten it. And then I'm gonna lean over. Baby stays on the inside. I like to use a block here, and the farther I am in my pregnancy, the longer or the higher I want my block. And then I lean over, bow over, find your nice pyramid stretch. Hold here. Baby's on the inside, always leaving room for baby. We want the block there, and we can relax our shoulders, and we can maybe even get deeper and lean down the leg. I have a slight bend in my leg, and that feels pretty good for me today. Two more breaths. 
I'm going to put a deeper bend into my knee. I'm going to giddy up my back foot, come onto the ball, and then come onto my knee. I'm going to even take my block with me. Inhale, sink through the hips, low lunge lifted. Good. I'm still trying to keep my ankle and knee in line in the front. Good. Maybe we're getting that nice stretch on that left hip crease. Hold here, shoulders away from the ears. And then bring it back down. Good. I'm going to use my block again. One, two, three, giddy up. I'm back into my warrior one. I'm going to leave my block there this time. I'm holding. Sink down. This thigh is probably really talking to us by now. Hold. Hands come to your waist. Step your feet together. Good. Wiggle it out. Ready, other side. Left legs forward. Right legs coming back, pointing 45 degrees up your mat. Pull the left hip crease back. Inhale. Arms come up. Hold. Thigh engage, roll in the lap. Nice and tall and strong for five, four, three, two, and one. Hands come to your waist. Roll your shoulders back and down, nice and tall, little power pose. Keep working that lower body, pressing into it, very active. And four, three, two, one, pull the left hip crease back. Find length in that front leg. Babies on the inside, use your block. Lengthen over, bow over. See how it feels on this side. It can feel different from side to side. We're just checking in with it. Not too much, not too little, just right. Keep breathing, you got it. Hang out. Put a bend into that knee now. Onto the ball of the back foot. Right knee's coming down. I'm going to take my block with me. Inhale, lift, sink through the hips. Heart leads high. Gaze can go high if it feels okay for the neck. Nice stretch on that right hip crease. Checking in with it. Ready? Here we go. Hand comes down. One, two, three. Giddy up. I'm back into my warrior two. I'm going to leave my block there. Inhale, lift up. And then hands come to my waist, then I step together. Good. All right. If we're early along in our pregnancy, we may only need one blanket. If we're farther along, we may need two. I like two. It helps my hips rock forward. I'm going to sit down, and I'm going to take my left sole of my foot onto my right thigh. I'm going to bring my right hand on my hip and my left hand to the mat, and I'm going to slowly rock forward and back. I'm leaving my left butt cheek on the blanket, and I'm just really kind of manually moving the femur head in the socket, working through it here. Nice big inhale and exhale. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Press up. Inhale up. Exhale. Send it down. We've got two and down. Three and down. Four, and down, last one, and five. Good, bring it on around. Take that back leg, swing it around. So now my left sole of my foot is onto my right thigh. I'm nice and tall. I'm leaving room for baby, so I'm using this triangle I've made, and I'm gonna walk down. Now baby's gonna tell you how far you can go. Keep length. This may be it, and that is fine. This may be it, and that is fine. So wherever you're starting to feel that stretch in the low back, Flex through this foot, let it, let it do its job. Take another breath. Relax, inhale, and exhale. Left hand glues, or right hand glues to the ankle, pat hands, open up, gaze over the fingertips. Good, nice upper torso stretch. Breathe, I just think this feels magical. And then unwind. Good job. Let's switch sides. So now the right sole of the foot is onto the left thigh. Left hand's on my hip, right hand's on the mat. And then here we go. We rock forward, we rock back. Press forward and back. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Full Cleopatra. Inhale, press up. 
Exhale, send it down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, big lift up. Exhale, lower. Let's do two more. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Last one. Big lift, press. Exhale, bring it down. Take that back leg, spin it on around. Good. Right sole of the foot is glued into the thigh. Pull the hip crease back. Find the triangle you've made and then see where you need that stretch on this side. Remember, it can be here and that can be absolutely fine. Baby is going to tell you exactly where you need to be with this. Relax through your shoulders. Come back to your body. Come back to your breath. One more breath right here. Pull your hand to your ankle. Open up. Gaze goes over the fingertips if it feels okay for the neck. Good. Keep with it. Two more breaths. Good job. Unwind. All right, so we're going to head into our final Shavasana pose today. So I'm going to use these two blankets. I don't have a bolster with me, but hopefully you have a body pillow at home, but I'm going to end up using these four blocks to do it. So remember, we want to be on our left side. And I have these two blankets so I can rest my head. My arm comes out. It gives me space for it. And then my ankle and my knee are supported with my blanket. And I push my hips back so baby is angled towards the mat. And then it feels pretty comfy right here. And now I can rest. And I put this arm wherever it feels comfortable. Essentially, you want your legs to still be hip width distance apart. And that's why that, that uh, bolster or blanket or, or um, body pillow can be really helpful with this positioning. And then I relax and soften and I close my eyes. Now you guys stay here. I'm going to move up just so that I can talk more effectively, but relax, center, connect. We're going to go through a little bit of um, affirmations. Now remember with affirmations, some connect and some don't. So don't feel like you have to feel um, really connected to any or even one of what I what I read through here, but know that they are available to you and it may be something that you want to think about as you're going through your pregnancy because sometimes even just coming up with some good thoughts, some good words that really connect with us can help us get through the harder days, can help us um, really feel good about this experience that we're having. Um, and I'd like to offer some of them to you. We're going to come back to our breath first. A nice big inhale through the nose. Exhale, sigh it out, let it go. Inhale. Exhale, sigh it out. Inhale, fill baby's home. Fill the chest all the way up to the clavicles. And then let it out, clavicles, chest, belly. Do that one more time. Fill up. Three-part breath. Exhale.